What's up you guys? Welcome back to MJ Views. So today I have a special guest. I have my boy Rocket. Mm -hmm. And then and then what happened? Uh -huh. <laughs> Rocket is gonna be in this video because it's a QA all about him. So I asked you guys in the community tab to send me questions about Frenchies or Rocket. So that's what I'm gonna go over. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm gonna give you a little insight on Rocket just right away. Rocket is, I don't know if he's considered brindle, but he does have a minimal brindle. He's a black with brindle, I guess you can say, and he has a uh, tips of white. <laughs> Um, he's a purebred French Bulldog. He weighs 20 pounds, 22 pounds to be exact. So, I mean, they're pretty big dogs when it comes to lap dogs. Big as in like weight, as you can see all his rolls. He has lots of rolls on him. They're not active dogs at all. I mean, some can be just depending on personality, but for the most time, for the most part, they are lazy and don't want to do anything. That's why they are non-sport lap dogs so he's just gonna be in the background of this video his favorite activity is to sleep so i'm gonna let him do that to get right into the video i'm gonna answer the first question by lucy and yu they ask why did you guys decide to get a french bulldog so before i met jerry of course i knew what french bulldogs were but it never really occurred to me to ever own one but french bulldogs are indeed jerry's favorite type of breed so with us being together it was bound for us to get one um, I mean, Aussies are my favorite breeds, so I have two of them. Jerry got his favorite breed of dog, of course. Background story on why this is his favorite breed is because he used to have an English bulldog named Oli, and he was with him since like the very beginning. And Jerry was, of course, in love with that dog. He said his dream would be to own a smaller version of that, and that's exactly what Rocket is. So a smaller version of his favorite dog. Um, just because English Bulldogs do get to 60 to 90 pounds, they're a big type of dog. <laughs> just to have a smaller version I think is always the best thing. I mean they're just easier to care for and they're a bit more active than the English Bulldog. Next question is from Slickpaw07. He asked, how old is Rocket and when did you get him? So Rocket just turned two years old on July 31st. We got him at four months. He wasn't as tiny as you usually get your French Bulldogs, but of course he wasn't full grown yet. Um, he was a little smaller than how he is right now. I believe he weighed like 15 pounds when we got him. It's kind of a funny story. I had an idea that we were eventually going to own this breed, but I just didn't know when. And Jerry always goes through Craigslist to find different types of dogs, just for fun, you know, to see what type of dogs are for sale at the time. And we came across Rocket, and he was super excited because Rocket was only $500. So he's like, oh my god, we have to get him because he's so cheap and French Bulldogs are not cheap if you guys didn't know. But we kind of just talked about it and then it kind of just blew over. Um, as any other shopping through Craigslist does. And then one day, mind you, we weren't living together at the time so I didn't know when Jerry was out and about or when he was going to come and visit me or whatever. So one day he told me to come outside because he was outside in his car and behold there is a tiny rocket in his lap and he was so cute. He wasn't as tiny of course but you could still see that he was a puppy and he was just so scared and trembling and I grabbed him and I just immediately fell in love and we ended up keeping him of course because why wouldn't we? That's how Rocket came into the family. Look at you Rocket! CJ Wall asked, do you guys plan on getting another French Bulldog anytime? Um, of course, yes! I got to own two of my favorite dogs so I'm pretty sure Jerry would want to have more French Bulldogs and of course he talks about it and of course he says that he does want more French Bulldogs. Um, right now we own three dogs in a house that's not even mine so... We have to kind of relax on getting any dogs in this house at least. Of course we're waiting for us to get our own house and then we'll have as many dogs as we want. And that's not to say we're gonna have like a dog farm or anything, but we're gonna have of course more dogs and French Bulldog is gonna be one of them. Jerry wants to AKC French Bulldog, so I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. George Lopez asked, how early did y'all start training Rocket and what tricks commands can you do? So we started training Rocket as soon as we got him, of course, as you should with any dog, but he was kind of uh, already, you know, older and hasn't been trained at all. Uh, so he was kind of a late bloomer, but that was okay because I feel like it's just in his personality to not really um, 
you know, get the trick or want to learn, I guess. Does know the basics to keep a dog in check, you know, like sit, lay down, leave it, stay, get down, like stuff like that, you know, the normal stuff, nothing too advanced. You guys wanna see? Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, so he might not know anything at all. No, just kidding. I just feel like Rocket isn't really motivated to do anything at all. Um, he does a lot of things to please us. Dogs get a type of attachment to you, so they do want to please you. But when it comes to doing tricks that he doesn't really need to do at the time, he'll just like push it out of the way, you know? He doesn't really need to do it, so why do it kind of mentality. I also feel like Rocket doesn't really uh, think. Sometimes I literally catch him just standing and staring at the wall for like the longest time and I don't know why he does it. It's so weird. It's like he just has a blank mind sometimes. I don't know what it is. His most popular trick is paw. He's been doing it ever since we first got him. Paw. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Good boy. So last question comes from Faco Garibay. He asks, do Frenchies have a lot of health problems? Unfortunately, yes. Because they are a genetically modified dog, it comes with its consequences. Um, they can run into joint problems, heart problems, eye problems, ear problems. Their most known ones are respiratory infections and heat strokes. So yeah, that's a lot. And I mean, as long as you take care of your dog, everything should be okay. Rocket is a spoiled, air-conditioned dog, and he's still young, so I mean, he's perfectly fine. But I'll go over kind of what triggers it, I guess. So the joint problems, of course, it's what it sounds. Over time, the joints just start to decay. Not decay. They start to wear down, and that's just because, let's say, like Rocket, I don't really let him jump off of places just because I know he's not meant for that. If it's too high of a jump, over time, it could wear down his joints and that's that's gonna be very painful heart problems come if you let them gain a little bit more weight than they have to be and that comes from not exercising of course and that could lead to the heart problems eye problems come because uh, if you guys didn't know they have really big eyes like they're so cute though they can come with infections because they're really close to the wrinkles of the face and that can just uh, build up over time and get in their eye the ears can be kind of tricky because you have to give them baths and if any water gets in their ear, they can get infections easily because they have big old ears. Respiratory is the most common. Some French Bulldogs are born with smaller nostrils than they are used to. And sometimes if you want to care for your dog because it has that problem, sometimes you have to go through surgery to make it a little bit more bigger, you know, so they can breathe. But yeah, you're going to catch a French Bulldog kind of making these very, um, very ugly kind of gasping sounds and that happened to Rocket, that happened to Nala. I feel like it happens to everybody that has a French Bulldog. It's very common because of their snouts. And then the heat strokes, of course, because of that. And if you leave them outside for too long and it's very hot, and they're gonna have a really hard time breathing and you're gonna be able to know that because of their excessive panting. And I mean, like, it's so bad. It's so bad and it's so sad. So Rocket is spoiled in an air-conditioned home. So he has no problem with that, but just so you guys know, that's a very common issue. So that's all the questions that we got, but I want to go over kind of some questions that I've gotten before and I didn't really answer them. Just so you guys, of course, know about it, know what's going on. The first one is if we're going to breed Rocket. And if you guys are longtime subscribers, you know that we did plan on breeding Rocket. It just didn't go well because we did try to do it naturally. And it's most common to inseminate the french bulldog pair but we didn't do that i mean it's still an option because he, we haven't neutered him yet and jerry has thought about neutering him but i just keep on playing him no because i want to see rocket's babies a baby rocket is my dream goal i didn't get to see rocket as a baby so i guess that's kind of why i just feel like they're gonna be so dang cute so it's still a possibility it's just been a really long time we haven't tried since the second time we tried to get the french bulldog the female pregnant and I mean it's been two years so I don't know what we're gonna do but I'll keep you guys updated of course it's still a possibility so another question you guys asked about if Nala is gonna have babies Nala is my brother's French Bulldog so we did try breeding Nala with Rocket two times two heats two heat cycles 
and we did it naturally so Rocky was just not ready for a family I guess he didn't want the commitment with Nala so then Nala and Rocky broke up and Nala went to find a new boyfriend which she did and the third he my brother did inseminate her and she ended up not being pregnant so then the fourth he came and they didn't really try anything so we're gonna see what happens in the fifth I'm pretty sure he still wants to breed her and that would be really cool to have French Bulldog puppies that I never got to have Hello, dog. that's another thing we have to wait on but I of course just wanted to update you guys so you guys know what's going on and yeah that's pretty much all there is to this video I hope you guys enjoyed so thank you guys so much for watching the video don't forget to leave a like so I know that you guys like this video and of course subscribe to my channel because I make videos like this about my dogs, vlogs, and I did start making some fish videos if you guys are into that. But yeah, besides that, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, you don't reach. <laughs>